This problem shows a pile driver that's being dropped on an I-beam to drive it into the ground. The pile driver, which has a mass of 2,110 kilograms, is falling a distance of 7.87 meters, contacting the beam, and then driving the beam an additional 0.174 meters into the ground before it comes to rest. This pile driver is starting from rest, it falls down, it hits the beam, and then it stops. So in this problem, the net work done is going to be zero. There are two forces that are doing work on the pile driver as it falls. We have the force of gravity and we have the force that the beam exerts on the pile driver. The force of gravity is the mass, 2,110 kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is 20,678 newtons. The work done by the force of gravity will be the force of gravity times the entire distance that the beam moves. It's not just the 7.87 meters, it moves over the full distance of 7.87 meters plus 0.174 meters, which together is 8.044 meters. So the work done by gravity will be 20,678 newtons times 8.044 meters. This gives the work done by gravity as positive 166,333.832 joules. For the work done by the beam, the force of the beam that we're trying to find only acts over the final 0.174 meters. So the work done by the beam is negative F times 0.174 meters. But that has to equal the opposite of the work done by gravity, so it has to equal negative 166,333.832 joules. Again, we knew this because the work done by the beam plus the work done by gravity had to add up to equal zero. And so this allows us to solve for the unknown force F. Again, this is the average force that the beam exerts. It might not be constant, but the average force that it exerts is the force needed to do negative 166,333.8 joules of work. And so that gives a force of the beam that's 955,941.563 newtons. Again, this is a problem similar to lifting and lowering type problems where the net work done is zero the difference is the force of gravity is acting over the entire 8.044 meters but the force of the beam is only acting over the final 17.4 centimeters or 0.174 meters this allows us to find that unknown force of the beam